Hello, this is Professor Cummings. I have another lecture here, a short video that I wanted to do on automation. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of impressions of automation that I wanted to talk about in this video, and well as a, a series of videos that I wanted to do. So in this particular video, I'm going to go over exactly what is automation and why do we use it, and what are some of the opportunities that we have when we use uh, use automation. Now, I don't know how many of you have heard, but there's a story about a, a folk hero called John Henry, and he went into a competition against something called a steam drill. Now, what is this whole thing with John Henry and a steam drill? Well, back in the 1800s, when we were building the railroad system in the United States, the entire process was done by hand. You had entire teams of men that would go into the mountains on the plains, uh, leveling the ground, going through mountains, creating tunnels to lay down railroad tracks so that you can get the train going from one end of the United States to the other. This was a transcontinental railroad system. Like I said, this was very labor-intensive work. It required large teams of men, uh, very heavy labor, very dangerous, and you know it was something that you know had to be done. But because the technology at the time, you know, they needed all these people to do the process in order to get it done, you know, on schedule and under budget. Now you got this myth or folklore about a person named John Henry. Now John Henry was a one of the steel driving men. And what he did, what made him famous, what made him really popular was the fact that he was extremely strong, extremely fast. He could st drive steel into the, into the mountainside, you know, faster than any man could do it, you know, which allowed them to put explosives inside the holes and clear out the mountains or clear out the, the tunnels so that they could, you know, lay the railroad tracks. Well, you know, again, this was just one John Henry, one person that was doing all this work really fast. So, as most things happen in most industries, uh, someone came up with the idea of how to automate it. You know, so they had a steam engine, and someone came up with the idea of attaching a steam drill to that steam engine. So, enters the patent for the uh, steam powered drill. Now, the steam powered drill was supposed to be faster than any man, you know, be able to do a lot more work with a lot less people, and all you needed was the steam engine attached to it. And as a steam engine operated, you had a drilling process that was able to clear out the mountainside automatically. Now, the story of John Henry was that he went into a competition with this to try to prove that a man could out could beat this steam drill. And in the attempt of doing this, he actually did defeat the steam drill because he is John Henry. But unfortunately, he dies of a heart attack at the end of the folk folklore. And ultimately, you can see that in the long run, the steam drill became the technology of the day. And this picture is taken into the late 1800s, or excuse me, this is January 17th, 1905, the use of the steam drill. And you can see there's a, a, a smaller crew, a much smaller crew operating the steam drill with the steam engine in the background. So this is automation. Now in this particular example, yes, the steam drill did end up taking people's jobs away. It, made the crew actually a lot smaller but you know it's still employed and it there are actually some real benefits to automation that you can see that I'll show you in, through the rest of this video as to why automation isn't necessarily the uh, big bad monster that we need to worry about so what are some of the benefits of that steam drill you know if we look at the first picture there were several people that were employed but it was also a very difficult very slow very uh, even dangerous work so some of the benefits is that it was indeed faster. You know, you had a much smaller crew, but you had a machine that was powered by a, another source, in this case steam, that could do the job faster than a, a normal person could. Another benefit, it was safer. You know, when John Henry, and before the steam drill, John Henry was swinging and hitting that, that drill, the, the spike, uh, and another person actually had to stand there and hold it with a pair of tongs, so that person was in, in danger of, of getting hurt. You also had, you know, a flying rock. In this case, you know, people could actually get out of, you know, clear themselves from the way, even though this picture shows several people standing relatively close by. You know, and then with the explosives, you know, there was less cr people on the crew, so less chance of somebody being hurt. Again, that comes back to the next most obvious uh, 
you had less manpower required to do the exact same job and in this case do the job actually faster so there were several benefits to this you know all of them moving towards meeting deadlines a lot faster putting less people at risk and actually requiring the company to spend less money on people now what were some of the downsides to automation that still applied not only to the steam drill but to automation in general and you I'm calling these downsides I mean there's that the benefit to them isn't apparently obvious one there's a high cost investment you know so where you had a bunch of men that you could supply with spikes tongs and hammers now you've got to buy uh, an engine as well as this steam drill which was the state-of-the-art technology at the time so they actually had to spend a lot more money uh, up front to do this job there's also maintenance again with any automated process in this case the steam drill there's the chance that you're gonna to have to do maintenance or not just a chance it's an absolute that you're gonna to have to do maintenance there's a lot of moving parts there's a lot of chances that that drill is gonna break uh, you're gonna to have to maintain that that steam drill or the engine in the background you have to do a lot of lubrication you're gonna to have to replace a lot of belts some chains some sprockets I mean it is a machine with a lot of moving parts so there is gonna be some replacement of components so there is a lot of maintenance not just with that process but any type of automated process maintenance will become an issue someone has to maintain that that equipment and again with like any new technology or any technology for that matter there's a learning curve nobody's born knowing how to run a steam engine nobody's born knowing how to run a steam drill and it's not necessarily a, an easy thing to learn you're gonna have to go through some learning curve so in this case to make this more relevant by today's term you're gonna have to go through a lot of training you know courses and whatnot to understand how to use this steam drill so there's some upsides to you know performing the automation and then there's some downsides some things that you have to address when putting automation into place so before we go any further let's do a little bit of definition what exactly is automation now I checked the dictionary and I went online just to get a, a technical definition or an actual definition working definition of automation it's the technique of making an apparatus a process or a system operate without human intervention now I said immediate human intervention the actual definition was just human intervention I say immediate because there will always be human beings involved you might not actually be right in the direct line of the work you may actually be a supporting role you may actually be in an operating role you might be a programmer but there will be human intervention but the whole purpose of automation is to take start to remove people out of the process now what are the benefits why would we want to do that like I said we went over some of the uh, reasons on the in the last slide you know that were pretty obvious but I tried to keep that focus on the steam drill now these are more universal reasons number one you know like with the steam drill it increases productivity you know you can get a lot more work done in a shorter period of time another one is it improves quality now by quality what I mean is you can actually have a much more repeatable process a lot less chance of variation from part to part when you can get more automation into your process another one is to reduce labor costs since you've got more productivity you know with less people you're actually paying less people to get a lot more work done so you reduce the labor cost per particularly per part and then of course with the, the obvious is it improves the safety so let's look at some examples of how these four principles and four reasons of automation come into play so what we have here is a old video of Lucy and Ethel working in the chocolate factory and as you can see there's a very low production setup you know for all the chocolate that's going past them a whole lot is being left behind they're not able to keep up with it I mean it's automated but not quite as automated as it could be you know, in this next scene, we have a very highly automated process. You know, almost no human intervention at all. You know, and what you can see is that there's absolutely no waste in the process. Now, in terms of quality, what we're looking at here is a Swiss CNC machine where you have one bar stock that comes in through one collet setup and you have so it doesn't move anymore and you've got several tools that are preset 
so you don't have any variation you don't have a lot of people picking things up and moving them into place so it's a very automated process can make several small components in one time you know, this eliminates a lot of the human interaction and makes consistent parts Now when it comes to reducing labor costs, you can see in this video, you got a, a one woman trying to make four loaves of bread. You know, and this is not that unusual, you know, you have one person working on an oven and working on their dough, kneading the dough, and, and they can only get so much production out. One of the benefits of automation is the ability to have fewer people performing a large, much larger task. So what you have here is a large industrial size bakery fully automated versus the woman in the kitchen whose uh, process was completely manual and in this you've got just a handful of people you know it's trained bakers or you know technicians uh, who are going to be able to not only mix their dough but then make hundreds of thousands of loaves of bread you know with the help of their automation a lot less labor a lot more product per employee and a lot, you know, a lot more consistent uh, quality process, car quality product, you know. But I'm not trying to, you know, emphasize anything here. But how much more one person can make, you know, when you've got the assistance of automation versus somebody who's working in a more manual capacity, as we saw in the, the previous clip of the lady in her kitchen. So this is just one of more one of the benefits of of automation. Now another benefit of automation is it makes the process safer. Safer for the worker, safer for everyone involved. Now what we can see from this process is it's a casting process. So you're dealing with molten metal and as you can see that it's a very manual, very labor intensive process. Uh, nothing is automated. You know, very old school, very small volume process. Uh, leaves a lot of room for, for some safety issues. Uh, some of it could be just a matter of getting more safety equipment, but the fact that it's not automated means everything has to be handled by a person. Now, contrast to this process in front of you where we have an automated ladling machine. There is a person operating the machine, but he's well behind a safe uh, barrier between him and, and the ladle and the crucible, pouring the molten metal into the, into the molds. The mold is actually transferred on a conveyor so it is you know nobody is actually in, involved in actually moving the material so you know that's one way that automation has taken a person out of the process so I hope what you can see is that automation does provide a lot of benefits to manufacturing and several other types of industries you know it makes for higher production it keeps your employees out of harm's way so everybody is safer it reduces the cost per uh, product or per unit product. So there's a lot of benefits to automation. So what's one of the issues with automation in terms of why people are, are so concerned with it? Well, so one of the you know, uh, concerns is that it actually takes away jobs. But it can be pretty well, a pretty good argument put together that it actually creates opportunities. So what opportunities? automation does is it allows one person to perform several jobs that used to used to need a whole team to actually perform you know so it actually allows for entrepreneurship so a person could actually buy a machine that can do a job of several people and start their own business and that's actually happening today you know you have people going into business using 3d printers a product that they can actually buy on their own uh, just a small investment and actually go on to making product. Now, of course, just like any other thing, there's going to be, you know, the initial investment and then the learning curve of learn how to understand that 3D printer, knowing how to make it do what you want, but those are achievable just with some, some training. You know, we've got people going into CNC machining. You know, again, this is a, a small one or two or three person operation able to make components and sell them to larger manufacturers or even sell them wholesale themselves. You know, you have uh, a young man here who went into the woodworking business using a CNC router to make his components. 
You know, another person who uses a CNC router to go into making his own components. Again, you know, selling it to different industries. So, you know, automation does take out the human element in a lot of ways that can have some drawbacks. It also comes with a lot of benefits. And if you know where the opportunities exist, you know, which we'll start to explore in more of and more in this series, you'll be able to see that, you know, there's also a lot of opportunities for you to have in automation. So this is Professor Cummings. Uh, thanks for watching.